widening our sit bones apart and placing the dorsal hand on the thigh, the elbows back. So the chest area is starting to get that lift, that broadening, we're moving out of closing down and protection. Soft, smooth breath cycles. Each exhale, releasing the trapezius muscles, the shoulders, the back of the neck. Relax the legs, relax the thighs. Relax the face. And then lifting the hands, folding the palms together. Inhale. So just moving your blankets out to the side and coming immediately to an Adho Mukha Shavasana Down Dog with the heels lifted and the knees purposefully very bent. Spreading the palms, spreading the fingers, finding this first entry point. Look at your feet, make sure that they are really vertical. Often we can lift the heels a little higher than we think. Feel the juncture of the toes and spread the toes apart. Massage a little bit, rock in your feet to really feel the ball of the foot, to feel the toes, to greet each of them. And then stabilize in the middle, making sure that the inner arches aren't dropping and the heels aren't coming close to each other. Nice parallel feet. And now look with your head at the tops of your thighs and suck the tops of the thighs into the hips. See how that affects the buttocks. Let's do that one more time. Look at the top of the thighs, inhale. And with an exhale, Push the heads of the femur bones into the hips and feel what happens to the buttocks. They lift higher, they spread. Keep the arms well stretched. We're going to straighten the legs now with the exhale. Inhale and exhale. Straighten the legs. Keep the femurs coming into the hip sockets. Stretch the arms, stretch the legs. Lift the sit bones higher. And stepping forward, feet the width of the mat. Hey, Uttanasana. Push down into the feet and strongly grip the knees and the thighs up. Every three seconds they have a tendency to drop and forget themselves. So come back to that area and re-grip the knees and the thighs up. And then releasing the hands, fingertips to the floor, bringing the feet together, bending the knees, sitting back on an imaginary chair. Move the femurs back into the hip sockets, squeeze the inner knees against each other tightly. Keep the legs like this and lifting the trunk, hands to the hips, move our elbows back as much as we can. Utkatasa. Keep moving the weight of the buttocks back, pressing the inner knees against each other. We're going to extend the arms now to the full pose, keep the legs steady and extend the arms. Now press the palms together and cross one thumb over the other. Re-extend the arms so the elbows are completely straight. And then try to move the arms back behind the ears. That's it. And three. And two. And one. Exhaling forward. Straightening the legs. And widening the feet apart again. Changing the cross of the arms from the last time. Hey, Uttarasa. Make sure that the toes are broadening, not clenching together. That the inner arches and the inner ankles are lifting all the way up to the inner knee. And that the inner knee is lifting all the way up to the inner groin. Now 
and then placing the hands on the mat and stepping back to our second Adho Mukha Svanasana. Verticalize feet, bent knees is our entry point. Feel the toes even more now, the foot is opening, the sensitivity is coming. Femurs into the hip sockets, inhale and exhale, straightening the legs. Finding our upper back area, the shoulder blade area, and pumping it forward to open the chest. Keep pumping little movements, pumping it forward. And two. And one. Stepping the right leg forward to a nice wide lunge. And rocking forward and backwards. Make sure that the back inner knee is squeezed and straight. That the knee is facing the earth. And now onto our forearms. Re push out through that back leg. And then stepping back to plank pose. Spread your fingers more widely. Broaden the shoulders, charge the legs. Lift the abdominal muscles up. Chaturanga. Back to plank pose. And now stepping the left leg forward. Nice wide lap. Rocking forwards, rocking backwards. Same connection with that back leg, keep it rolled in, the knee tight. And down to the forearms, keep pushing out through that back leg. And then back up, plank pose, get firm, chaturanga. Plank pose. In this Adhunkashvanasan, try to press the heels down to the ground now and to lift the toes up. Keep checking in on the elbows, don't let them get bendy. Charge the arms. And now letting the knees to the ground, some shoulder openers. Sitting back on the heels, forehead to the floor, bring the arms behind, cross the thumbs together, and lift the arms up. Slow the breath down, even the breath out. And then bring the arms halfway down. We're going to change the cross of the thumbs and back up for the other side. Relax the face. Don't push with the forehead into the floor. And then bring the arms back down and releasing. Turning and twisting to the right, laying as much as we can of the left arm on the ground, particularly the elbow, and then pressing the palms together and turning and twisting. Remembering that the exhale is what helps us to twist, what allows that softness. So keep going with that. And preparing to come to the other side. The right arm as much as possible coming to the ground, especially the elbow. The knees can widen apart a little bit, by the way. And now press the palms together. And through the pressure of the palms, follow the twisting action from the center of the body, the navel, the belly button, with each exhale twisting from there. And then back to the center and releasing. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Spread the palms, spread the toes, inhale, and with an exhale, straighten the legs, straighten the arms, and press the heels down. 
And now bring the feet together. So it's Adho Mukha Shanasana with the inner feet touching. And now lift the right leg up. Ekakada Adho Mukha Shanasana. As you look at the leg lifting, make sure it doesn't roll open. Keep rolling it in so the kneecap is facing the earth. Toes coming back. Lifting up, lifting up. Keep the arms well stretched. And two. And one. Coming back down. Changing sides. Left leg lifting. Keeping the leg rolled in. The toes coming back. Lifting it higher. Shoulder blades still pressing in to open the armpits. And two. And one. Bringing the legs back down. Bending the knees. And sitting back. Yogudrasan, Gomukasan, three. Lifting the left knee, crossing it completely behind the right, widening the feet, coming down onto the mat or support blankets, blocks. Move the feet away from the thighs if you can. Inhale and exhaling forward. Keep walking the hands forward and pressing the hips and buttocks back. Exploring those two lines of energy with every breath. And then walking the hands back in. We are turning to the right. We're bending this left arm, pressing it against the front of that thigh. Palms together again. And with your exhale, turn and twist. And releasing, rocking back up and crossing our knees. Time for the other side. Lift the right knee up, cross it behind the left completely, widen the feet, and taking a seat and trying to move the feet away from the outer thighs. Yoga Mudrasa. Keep walking the hands forward, reaching, but at the same time, Pushing the hips back. So two lines of energy, back and forward. Inhabiting those directions simultaneously. And then coming back up, turning to the left. So bending the right arm, placing it on the thigh, palms connecting and from there, Turning and twisting from the belly button with each exhale. And then back up, rocking back up and uncrossing. All right, coming back to downward dog and then to Igafada, downward dog, so one legged downward dog. And then from there, we're going to bend the knee and find this beautiful opening. So let's do it. Arunyashansa. Feet together. Ega Prada Arunyashvanasa. Once you've lifted as high as you can with the leg roll in, rolled in, we're now going to bend the knee and then bring that knee up to the sky. So it's like a Balakonasan leg and the trunk is turning, turning to follow that leg. Now press away from the hands, and two, and one. Extend the leg, roll it back in, and find Adho Mukha Shanasana with the feet together again. And the other side, lifting the left leg up, and when we can go no higher, bending the knee, and then opening the knee to the sky, to the left, and the chest is following that action. Keep pressing yourself away from the hands, the armpit opening, the chest opening, and two, and one, and then re-extend the leg, and finding Adho Mukha Shkanasana feet together, coming straight to upward dog. Keep the toes turned under, 
Press into the hands, lift the chest up. Make sure the knees are strong and firm. Shoulders back. And back to Adho Mukha Shavasana. Feet together. Doing that again, ready? Lifting the right leg up, keeping it rolled in when it's reached its top height. Bend the knee, lift the knee to the sky, and let the chest follow the leg. Turning open to the right. And three, and two, and one. Extend the leg, and come back down. Adho Mukha Shavasana. Feet together, other side. Lifting the left leg up, and then bending the knee. Opening the knee to the left, the trunk following that action. And two. And one. Extend the leg and find Adho Mukha Svanasana. And going to Urdha Mukha Svanasana, upward dog. Push out the length of the inner knee and the inner heels, keeping the legs really firm. Press the middle buttocks down and move the hands a little bit closer to the hips and then press and lift the chest up. And Adho Mukha Svanasana. And then bending the knees and sitting on the ground. All right, time for Padmasan or half Padmasan. So starting with the right leg, we bring the hands underneath, we lift up, we invite the foot to come in, and then the left hand helps it come a little bit closer, and here we are. If the knee is very lifted, you're going to put some height underneath the hips to help with that action. If you're ready for the full Padmasan, Let's go ahead and bring the left leg in. And wherever we are, bring the arms in front, interlock the fingers, turn the palms out, and lift the arms up. But for person. Re-lengthen the breath and re-even the breath out. And then bring the arms back down. Coming up, and we're doing like an upward dog in our version. Buttocks forward, pressing the buttocks down, and then press into the hands to lift the chest up. And back out, and unlock it. Changing sides, so you could do Sukhasan, left ankle in front of the right, or Ardha Padmasan with the left leg first, and if you can, full Padmasan. Arms in front, change the interlock of the fingers, Padfatasan, Padmasan. Getting taller and taller, pushing up through the heels of the hands. And then bring the arms back down, coming up onto the knees, whatever posture we're in, and forward, pump the buttocks down, and then press into the hands to lift the chest up. Nice wide feet with the legs. With your hands, manually move the legs inwards slightly, the thighs inwards, so that the kneecaps are really facing the sky. Now pull the toes back towards you. Going to the right first. Exhaling, reaching, using a strap if needed. Parashva Upanishta Konasa. Notice how when we go to the right, the left buttock often gets a little bit light. 
So repress the left sit bone down. And then coming back out. Time to change sides. To the left. Reaching. Exhaling forward. Parshva Upavista Konasta. Similarly, when we're stretching to the left, the right buttock loves to help us by lifting up. We go to the right buttock and with an exhale, ground it down and see how that affects sensation. And preparing to lift back up. Coming the hands, the hands coming down. Check your legs, pull the toes back again. Coming forward now. And as we come forward, keep the pubic bone lifted. Don't let it drop. Keep it perpendicular to the ground. The whole time being present in the pubic bone, along with all the other sensations, and keep lifting the pubic bone up, and you'll feel the belly button move back. And we want this. The belly button now is going back. The abdomen is going back to the lower back, supporting the lower back as we come forward. Balakonasan, Yoga Mudrasan. Again, if the knees are really lifted high, please, I encourage you to take height underneath the buttocks. It's going to help you to come forward with an exhalation. Smooth and steady, elongated breath cycles here. Lying down on our backs. Supine Gandhasan twist. Lift the right leg up and cross it completely over the left and then hook the foot behind. It's going to open our joints as well as getting a twisting action. Extend the arms in line with the shoulders, the hands. Move the feet away from you and bring the knees to the left. Inhale. And exhale, turn and twist from the belly button to the right. Ready to come back up and uncrossing, changing sides, hooking that left leg and knee over, the foot behind the ankle, moving the feet a little bit further away from the buttocks, inhale, with the exhalation let the legs come to the right, now be in the belly button, the centre point of the body, inhale, and with an exhale turn and twist from the navel to the left. Waves of exhalations, waves of twistings. And then bring the legs back up and uncrossing. 
All right, let's bring the feet close to the buttocks, the heels close to the buttocks, the feet parallel. Now lift the hips up and roll each front shoulder back and then with the hands reach for the front ankles. If you can't reach, you can always put a strap and hold the strap. Just press pause on me and grab a strap. If you are reaching, fantastic. See if you could press the heels down. If not, don't worry, it'll come with time. Keep the front shoulders rolling back. Now press into the feet and lift the hips up. Chatushpadasana. Keep the chin coming towards the throat. Don't press with the back of the head. Keeping the back of the neck long this way. Lifting up, lifting up, lifting up, lifting up. And two. And one. Coming back down, kind of hovering there. We're going up for another one. Preparing, inhale and exhale. Press and lift up, lift up. Don't let the knees widen. Keep the thighs parallel. Keep lifting up, pressing the arms down to activate the back body to lift up more. And exhale, coming down, just hovering there. Coming up for another one, ready, inhale. And exhaling up to Chatushpadasana. See how you can press your shoulder blades up to the sky, more and more. The rib cage broadening. And then exhaling and releasing. Move the feet away from the buttocks. Keep the feet spread the width of the mat. Let the inner knees rest against each other. And now tilt the pelvis so that the entire lower back is on the ground. Just resting here, earthing the spine. Let the abdomen melt towards the lower back. And now bring the feet in, separate the knees apart, make sure the feet are parallel, ending with a little sutta patamushkasana, so bring the right foot off the mat, Lifting ourselves up, holding the foot, and then trying to straighten the leg as best as we can. Breathing smoothly and regularly, just a constant backdrop to the movement. Relax any effort from the face, relax any visible strain from the outer body. Even if you're feeling it, keep breathing, extending. And now bending this knee, ekapara. And foot back to the floor, changing sides, lifting up, holding the foot, and extending as best as we can. Try to pull the toes back. And keep breathing smoothly, deeply. And now bending the knee, Ekapada. Relax the shoulders. And now both knees. Lining up those inner feet for the last time today. Lining up the inner knees. Feeling that symmetry between left and right as much as possible. Feeling the right back hip on the mat, the left back hip on the mat. Feeling the right upper back on the mat, the left upper back on the mat. The breath really slowing down, the inhale full, the exhale full. And then releasing the feet, extending the legs, thighs rolling open, arms out to the side, shoulders rolling back. 
might want a blanket for the head or something to cover the eyes. And if not, just making sure that you're really lying in the middle of the back of the skull. The eyes closing. Shalasa. Mm. And then gently just lifting the hands up and pressing the palms together one last time, ending, giving thanks for this moment, giving thanks to our bodies, to our minds, to our hearts, to the lineage of teachers before us. Loka Samasta. Sukin ho pavantu. Om shanti shanti shanti. And then gently coming back to the surface. Always rolling over to come out. So you're using the hands to come out, using the earth to support you up. Welcome back. Our mini practice is complete and we do feel brighter and better for it. So keep up that connection, keep showing up for yourselves. Namaste.